Welcome to the video on how to resolve listing error 13013. This error occurs when the SKU does not exist, which means that the provided stock keeping unit has not been successfully added or has been deleted from the Amazon's catalog. As a result, any associated data regarding pricing, overrides, inventory, or the product itself has not been processed. Here are the most common situations in which error 13013 may occur. This error often occurs while submitting an inventory file to update or create a new product. The error arises if the original product data contained an error preventing the creation of the SKU. When a seller makes a second attempt to add or edit additional information, such as price, quantity, condition or images, they may realise that the original SKU was not created, preventing the linkage of product information. To resolve this error, start by downloading the latest processing report by hovering on Catalog tab and clicking on Add Products via Upload. Click on the spreadsheet Upload status and download the latest processing summary. After downloading it, the processing report will contain the errors which need to be corrected. Then upload the corrected inventory file into the Upload Your Spreadsheet section. Next, select the file type here. Email address can be updated to get alerted once the upload is completed. Lastly, click on Submit Products. Once the inventory file is resubmitted with the accurate corrections, error 13013 should be fixed. The second scenario where this error may occur is while submitting an inventory file to delete a product listing. In this case, no corrective action is required. The third and fourth scenarios are quite similar to the first one. In these situations, error can appear after submitting a tab delimited shipping overrides file or after submitting an inventory pricing or shipping overrides XML file. These cases most likely happen if the product wasn't successfully added to the Amazon catalog initially through a product data feed. To resolve error 13013 in these situations, it is recommended to check the processing reports and correct any of the errors associated with the SKU. The final scenario occurs if a seller receives an error while trying to recreate a deleted SKU. If this is the case, we advise to wait for 24 hours from the time the SKU was deleted before attempting to recreate the SKU. That wraps up our video on how to resolve listing error 13013. Thank you and happy selling!